Hi, welcome. So the last time I showed you how to use the boat app, how to request a ride and how to add a stop to your request so that if let's say you are going to um, two places, you can add both stops to it and you can get the actual amount that you are um, that you are supposed to pay. Okay, so today we're looking at um, how you're gonna, let's say, add your office or your home to your boat app. So that when you're requesting a ride, it becomes very easy. You can, or you can just type in home instead of you going all the way to type maybe your street address every time that you want to request for a ride or when you want to go to work. So once your app is open, if you have not already added it to your um, app, you come to where you have the three dots. Okay, they are at the top left corner. So you click on it. It will show your profile, your payment, and all the other options there. So you just tap on your profile, okay, the picture there. So as you see, you can see um, the name, your phone number, your email address, and it says favorite destination. I've already added mine. So um, I'm gonna, let's say, if, you are, if you've not added yours, you can add it here. And if you've added it and let's say you have moved from where you are to, you can always come here and change it. So you come, you click on your home, and this is my home. So I'm gonna just leave it as it is. Okay, yeah, so you just type your home and it comes and you just select it. If it's your work, you click on it and you can type where your office is, your um, location or whatever. Then yes, it comes, it shows the street, it comes and you select it over there. So it saves these destinations in the app and it's recognized it as your home and your office. So that anytime you want to request a ride, it becomes very easy. So let's quickly go back and see how it works. So let's say you come here, you are somewhere, you want to request, you are in the office, you want to request a ride home. There's no need to always type in your home address or your street name again. You come to where to, you type on the where to, then already it will pick where you are, it will pick your destination, okay? But sometimes it doesn't pick because for my, for example, where I am is not what is showing here. So you have to also watch because sometimes it's an app, anything happens. So you just come here and you can always type in your exact location or you can just say pick my location. But then I know my street name and I know that this is not the street I am on. So I can just erase it and... Uh, so um, I'm at work, how it comes. So now I can type in where I am. You realize that the work came because I've already set it as my workplace. So now it says destination. So instead of me typing my street name, I can just come and type home. And you see home will come, it will appear. So I just type home. And now the app will search and give me the cost from my office to my home. So it becomes very easy when you are requesting a ride. Unlike every day you have to now search it and type the street name. And sometimes you can get it wrong. So it's better you save it so it becomes very easy for you when you are using the app. So now you can request for the ride and the ride will come to exactly where you are and pick you and take you to your home. Thank you.